I write this poem called An Old Codger Called Murray Lots of folks live in the country In country towns and on farms That's why the lack of water's Setting off all sorts of alarms Because we're cutting down our forests And putting pollution in the sky Now it's all coming back to haunt us it's enough to make an Aussie cocky cry. You see, all of nature is connected. The land, its animals, plants and us. Now the weather's gone unreliable, it's enough to make a cocky's wife cuss. Australia was home to brown people. Now all of us Aussies are in a flat because we buggered up their country and the rain fronts fell off the map. Yet we keep washing and drinking and watering crops of food and hay till I saw on the TV and in the paper our old Murray Rivers passing away. Till I saw on the TV and the paper. Our old Murray Rivers Passing away. Well, it didn't happen suddenly. I remember hearing many years ago of all their meetings and the talking about letting the mighty Murray River flow. From way over in Western Australia, I figured out they're fixing up the river. They've obviously gone and worked out the Murray's our land's life giver. One day I went home to South Aussie and I found out I was bloody wrong. Me and Betty drove to the river and saw cows shitting in the Karong. As we, as we drove to Rakan for a funeral, yet another one for her kin, Betty told me of women's river business and how sad their river has been. About how all life starts from country and walking softly on Mother Earth. Because when we bugger up our country, we do it to those yet to give birth. Now, <coughs> what is a political and tradable commodity? Brings tears to me eyes, not of mirth. We keep treading heavily on country. There'll be no humans left on earth for the Murray River. I keep thinking whenever I think about a subject like a river or a forest or the Barrett Peninsula, I think, well, How come our society is stuffing this up? What what are we doing wrong? And it goes back to basic values. You see, I'm trying to get the reflection in the middle of my glasses. It goes back to basic values, that's it. It goes back to basic values, you see. When we look at the natural environment, when Aboriginals look at the natural environment, Indigenous people around the world, they see it as their church, as a place to interact with in an ongoing fashion. They have respect for it, they interact with it. For us, the natural environment is its an opportunity of exploitation. And every now and again, when we need a break from the strain of that rep, that exploitation, we go on a holiday, we go and visit nature. We think it's great.